decided that we want a bachelorette budget yes. for our lives, for our dating, and for weddings. We need a bachelorette budget. That was an awesome show, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was so good. So we're here to talk about the, the last episode of The Bachelorette. I'm Sean Murray with my beautiful co-host, Erin Yvonne. And we're going to just uh, kind of go through the <laughs> whole show. We're on the stream.tv. And... Um, you can tweet us during the show using the Bachelorette, hashtag the Bachelorette AS. Yes. And what else? Oh, and Facebook. Uh, we have a private Facebook page uh, called the Bachelorette After Show, too. So, Chad. Chad is finally, Chad finally bit the dust, right? Farewell, the protein dust. The protein dust. That was the best thing ever, wasn't it? Yeah, at first we were like, what is that? And then I was like, oh my God, it's protein, it's protein powder. powder. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, we were confused because obviously they had to take like the wrapper off the thing. Yeah, but yeah. for them to throw protein powder, we thought that was actually a very... Just like the perfect send off. Yeah, right? yeah. I love how like everyone just looks so well rested afterwards. Everyone looks so rejuvenated and happy to be there. About the fact that he, or about the fact that he was that gone. He was you gone. mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was funny though. The way they edited it was so weird because they showed the protein powder send off first, and then they showed um, the marine guy yeah. come back, and they were like all celebratory. That was cute with the whole the cupcakes in the face to celebrate yeah, him staying, that's right? that's how excited they were. They yeah. treated that like Super Bowl. That like, was cute. Win. <laughs> and then, though, when Dude, remember, Dude put his hands on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> like he was like sneaking back yeah. into the he house. He was just owning it at yeah. that point. He's and what like, was that whole handshake situation? Do you remember that? What was that all about? Just that last bit of intimidation that he was trying to throw on. What is that guy's name? I forget what his name was, but like he held his hand and then he like was like, why are you squeezing yeah. my hand? And they were trying to apologize. Yeah. I mean, they were trying to actually send him off respectfully, yeah. but he just he just couldn't get there. He wouldn't allow it. No. You know what I mean? Even when they gave him the perfect opportunity to like leave the show, not an asshole. Yes, he really he had. Couldn't take he it. couldn't take it. He couldn't come through. Do you think there's any chance that he might be like the next uh, bachelor? I hope not. I, I hope not. I can't imagine. I want to know, you guys out there watching, who would want to date Chad? Would any of you guys out there actually go on a show to date Chad? But you know what? People might do it just to go on a show. That's kind of the Great. point, just right? Just for the crazy experience. Yeah, they actually might do it, or in hopes that they're going to be the next Bachelorette. That would kind of be the only reason, I think. Could right? you imagine the challenges? that he would make these girls oh my go through, God. like, who can clean the kitchen the fastest? Right. <laughs> who, can, who can drink the most protein shakes? No, 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 who can make me my protein shakes? Uh, More like that, right? Who can serve me my deli meats? Oh, oh my God, the deli meats. I forgot about the meats. He did, he ate, he got a lot of food in while he was there, yeah. so that was good for him. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know if, you know, if he, do you think there's any chance that Chad could possibly come back as The Bachelor, and if he did, would you even be interested in being on the show, let alone watching the show? Uh, let us know uh, on our Facebook page, uh, <laughs> The Bachelorette After Show. Uh, we'd love to hear from you about that. So um, then we got pretty quickly to the first rose ceremony. Mm -hmm. And I can't, what happened at the first rose ceremony? What was going on? Um, gosh, why can't I think of what was going on? It's so hard because there was two tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, gosh, who got cut on the first row ceremony? I can't believe I can't even remember who it was. I feel maybe we're wrong, but I don't know if anyone got cut. I think they just said, like, who was going to go on the next date. Oh, right, right. And then what was the next date? The it next wasn't date the... was uh, the swimmer man that we thought was gay. Yeah. But clearly he's not. Right, right. And told her that he loved her. Well, no, that didn't come till later. That was in Uruguay. We're still in Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, no, oh my like, gosh. You know, that's the thing. These, these episodes, they're so long. It's really hard. There's so much to take in during the two hours yeah. that it's hard to kind of really keep track of everything. It is hard. And all you and really so care about. there's so many guys. Right. And all you really care about is, like, the outcome right. of what happened anyway, right? Yeah. You guys will have to tweet us and tell us. Like, yeah, because we crazy. literally can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> help, help us out. <laughs> exactly. But you know what we can remember? We remember the whole Us Weekly situation. Oh, yeah. Now, that was, like, so planned. And, yeah. oh, because she, she went on that amazing date with... Um, Jared? The, the quarterback, right, QB? 
Yes. Yeah, and she said, oh my God, this is the best date I've ever had in my entire life, the most romantic. And it was great because remember they were on the, um, they went on the yacht, they had the pillows, Ugh. they had their champagne. Yeah. Then after that, they went out to dinner. It really couldn't have been more perfect. And by the way, where is this hotel in Uruguay, and why does it look like it's at, like a, at a vacant airport or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, it definitely looked like it just opened, and they were the first <laughs> the first people to ever go yeah, there to test it out. Even though they set it up as it's the place where the the beautiful people or the rich and famous go in Uruguay, yeah. we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so the um, the whole Us Weekly situation, they handed her you know, the magazine, and she's like, what is this? And she looks at it and she sees that it's her ex-boyfriend basically just trying to get publicity and slam her and say yeah. that she was, you know, cheating with him. What did you think of that whole situation? I mean, it's tough. I, I, I kind of feel her pain because that's devastating when anyone talks negatively or lies about you. Yeah. And then in the public eye like that, that sucks, but I feel like she kind of overreacted a little bit. You think so? Maybe. See, I think that it was, because it wasn't, it, to me, for with her, it wasn't just about it being in the public eye, but it was that she said after the first ep, uh, series that she did that she actually, he was having a difficult time in his life and that she tried to help him mm. and that yeah. she put herself yeah. out there to help him and now that she's back on the show and exploring things it's like that old syndrome you know it's like when a guy doesn't really want you until he sees that yeah, somebody that, else wants you yep. and it's too late now not only does he did he it seems like he wanted her but in this case he actually wanted to hurt her yeah on purpose yeah which is really horrible and it is that you know that old tale of like the ex always like sounds the alarm when you're like finally happy or you're yes. finally getting somewhere then the ex has always got to come and do something to like distract you from the to goodness mess it up to take you situation. out of the happiness yeah and but i mean how many of us have had that happen in ours goes like in us weekly though right <laughs> at least we don't have the to retaliation that. is so like public yeah that's horrible well, yeah. let us know, women out there, what you think about that, because we think it's, you know, we've, I've definitely been through that kind of thing where you're with a guy and then, you know, and you break up, but then if he sees you with somebody else, now he's suddenly either interested in you or wanting to, you know, kind of hurt you in some way. So tell us your, your stories like that. I'm sure that there are many. And um, uh, tweet us uh, using the hashtag BachelorETTAS and subscribe to us uh, at the stream.tv at the Bachelorette After Show. So the other thing that we really wanted to talk about was all these activities that they're doing that drums up all this emotion. Right. You've had a lot to say about that, Erin. Tell us I just what you think. I just want that budget. Yeah, right. Like, for <laughs> life. I mean, I feel like anyone can fall in love, you know, with fireworks. Anyone can fall lo when in love kiss, on a yacht. When you kiss, the fly fireworks just go, right? Anyone can fall in love when you have free, like, spray tans. <laughs> Talk so, about the spray tans you for guys, a second. guys, please tell me you've noticed on the show the insane amount of spray tanage that's going on. Yeah, you they, said it was, like, neon, like, yeah, neon like fluorescent. orange. Yeah, fluorescent. That was it, fluorescent orange. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like a better spray tan than uh, than Donald Trump. They're more orange than Trump, right? Trump has started something. Yeah. <laughs> they must have tanning. It's like in the writer that they have a tanning booth on every location they stay at. So yeah. everyone could just step in and well, get cheetoed up. They, they probably do that at the spa. I love that when the guys were getting their pedicure yeah. and their facial and everything. But, you know, we were saying that these these activities, they, they rev you up, like you're jumping off the cliff, yeah. you're in these cool cars, you're traveling around the world, you're staying at these awesome hotels. I mean, who wouldn't? They're increasing the opportunity yeah. to fall in love that way. Free alcohol. Yes, yes. Free everything, yeah. right? Like you said, on somebody else's budget, you get to just, like, totally enjoy yourself, right? Yeah, exactly. What do you do when you get home? Yeah. When you get home, you have to pay the electric bill. And, you know, we were saying, like, they're in the jacuzzi at home. They're going to be, like, in the bathtub. Right. <laughs> you know, how are they going to, you know, keep that keep that sexy going after yeah. that, right? And you know what, too? It's like with a guy, you always want to know if they're romantic, 
first. And you can't tell with this. Because oh my they, God, there's so producers right. and writers like giving you're you the perfect so right. Disney fairy tale. Yes. And then you get home and he's like, are you going to do the dishes? Are you going to pay the bill? Are you going to like... Yeah, you're 100% right. You actually can't possibly get to know these people that way. Yeah. And this time I actually... I was surprised that I kind of was feeling sorry for the guys because all this stuff that we're talking about, the guys, it's really working on them. Yeah. Like they're actually falling in love with this girl. And are you like, are they falling in love with a girl? Are they falling in love, like you said, with this beautiful, amazing situation? Like you walk down the street and all of a sudden there's a band with dancers oh. there and you kiss and the fireworks go and it just it's couldn't crazy. possibly be any more perfect right right so Who are they really yeah yeah where are they that's it where are they really <laughs> so what do you think about that what do you think about in the kind of in the dating process when all the all the lights and everything go away and it gets real what happens then and what do you think happens on these bachelorette and bachelor shows when they get home is that that's probably why they break up but let us know if you think that that's why they break up we think it probably is and uh, subscribe to us on uh, the stream.tv and uh, tweet us at um, using hashtag the bachelorette uh, AS and let you know let us know what you think about that yeah. so now all these I love you's the whole I love you this was I think the first episode that the I love you's started to come out mm -hmm. right yeah one said I'm falling in love and then Robbie I think his name is yeah yeah Robbie he said he's I'm falling in love up. I love you yeah what did you think about that uh, the guy professing his love that way bless his heart I feel so bad for him because he's like I've got to get this in I've everyone's like in a in a race yeah to get in like everything they can before the rose ceremony but I think do I, I think he he thinks that he's in love with her yeah. and the story he told about his best friend getting killed texting his fiance oh, first of all that's, that's just brutal do not drive and text people that's just it's that was so a killer but he said the the impact on him was that he you know he quit his job and mm -hmm. he moved and I think that that's good. Sometimes yeah. you need something to make sure that you appreciate life. Yeah. And he's like, this is how I feel, and I'm going to share it. it. And I think that that was, you know, we both didn't really like Robbie that much. Yeah. What did you think of him before that? Honestly, before I felt like he was too put together, too perfect looking, too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Manicured. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, but after that, I was like, that's really sweet. I love that he's living in the now. He's living in the present moment. And he's guiding, guiding himself by the present moment, which is great. But I just felt so bad when she was like, thank you. Oh, I know. Thank you. <laughs> but what did he say? That's not funny. I should sure no, have. That's But horrible. you know what he said that made me really like think he was sweet was he said, she didn't say I love you back, but... To me, that's just somewhere for us to grow. Yeah. Like she can grow. Oh, because she gave him the rose. Yeah. And so he said, I feel like we're moving yeah. forward, you know, on this journey. And I think that, I mean, he has true passion and feels love as opposed to like the Marine dude seems like he's moving into just more competitive mode. Yeah. Like there's some people that are feeling emotions and there's some people that like want to win this game. Right. Don't you think so? Yeah. I feel like he's nominated himself as the new bully now that Chad's gone. Yeah. Alex is moving in. Yeah, he's really, like, he's ridiculously competitive. And it's like, you feel like he's just competing because she's there, not because it's her. Yeah, you know? I totally agree with you. Who else was sort of professing in some love today? I guess Robbie was, like, the big one. Everyone, they all are saying that they're oh, feeling and something. Oh, the war vet. Who? He said he was falling in love with her, the war oh, vet. Oh, the war vet. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like she's digging the war vet, like, really heavy, and she's digging Jordan. The quarterback. The guy with the good hair, Becky that's, with the good that's hair. That's QB, yeah. Yeah, what did you think about that when she was asking him about his past relationship? Oh, that was so juicy. <laughs> I love that moment. I love that moment when a girl confronts a man. I'm you like, do? get the popcorn. Oh my like, god, oh my god, I just study their eyes. I study everything, literally. Yeah. And did you notice when she was like, you know, what happened? He literally was like, <sighs> and grabbed the drink and just Yes, took a he did. He grabbed the drink. And then the other thing we talked about was, 
then sort of at the end of the conversation, and he was totally, he was annoyed for sure yeah. by the, the questioning. That is an annoying. And then there was just this split second at the end of that conversation where he went like this. Mm -hmm. Like he, he moved back and she came towards him. And I thought there was such a switch of power right then. Yeah. I thought she made such a huge mistake right then because it would have been much better for her to see what he did right. in this uncomfortable situation. She comforted him before she could see how he was in the, in the discomfort, you know? Yes, and ladies, next time when you have some juice on your guy or a potential guy, <laughs> do not tell him that you talk to the ex ever. Oh, right? really? I don't know. I would Why never. do you say that? I would Tell just me. be a little bit more sneaky than that. Oh, like, I would be like, how, how, how did think? you break up? Oh, what was your last relationship? True. Were you, in your opinion, were you a good guy? Were you solid? Did you, you know? Instead, she's willing to be, but I, you know, I met you your have, ex. You have a good point because she, now she couldn't really check him. Because as soon as she said, I met somebody, His face. now he can't hide. But you're right. If she had just asked him open questions, she would have been able to see if he was it telling was the truth yeah. or not. You are sneaky. Jojo, Aaron. girl. <laughs> you got to get it together. Darn it. So let us know, you guys. What do you think? And if you're in a situation where you're dating a guy and you meet someone they that someone that they know and find out some information, do you normally say you met that person? Or do you ask the open questions, which I think is the right way that uh, Aaron is suggesting? Let us know how you do that. I mean, I'm single and I need your advice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, look us up on um, or the stream.tv and uh, please join our Facebook page. It's a private Facebook page, but just let us know that you're watching the show and um, we will accept you right away on the Bachelorette After Show on Facebook. So the last thing was the, um, the final rose ceremony where we find out she was getting rid of Three people. Three. Tell everybody who we really who we wanted to go the most. Who did Ed. Oh yeah. I would feel like we wanted a couple of people because we wanted Canada to go too. Oh yeah. Oh God. Oh yeah. Guys, I can't stand. <laughs> Canada was so creepy, right? Yeah, and I love that he even said he's like my personality shit. <laughs> it he's did. like, if it was a body contest, if it was a physical thing, I, I would won. win. He's, he was like, something about him was so strange to me. I don't really know how he lasted that I'm long. I'm so happy that he said that, though, because it just shows guys, like, hello, we need a little bit more than body these days. Yes, we need yes. you to have a personality, actively pursue, right. you know? Well, I'm so glad you said that, because when we were watching the show, you brought up such a great point about the actively pursuing. Yeah. And it seems like the only one who's actively pursuing right now is um, the quarterback. Yeah. And she's like totally feeling him. You guys when she when yes! he threw her yes! up against the wall and the, the that was hot people. That was That life. was hot. He got her right then when he did that, especially with the other guys right, right on the up. other side of the wall. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to, like, take you right now. He killed it. Good he job. Did. He did. That was did. amazing. We literally both were like, <gasps> yeah. oh. Yeah. That that's was, how it's done. That was the hottest thing on the whole show. Yeah. 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 But we were, we were saying, you know, that whole, you know, women want to be pursued. And that's a thing that's on the show, too, that you're not getting. Because you can't really tell if these are guys that do that and do it well or not because it's right. so the show, contrived. The, the producers are pursuing for you. They're yeah. getting all the good ideas out. Like they should do a challenge where the guy has to they do the date. Oh, bachelor, but what bachelorette show, you guys need to, that is such great advice. You should definitely do an episode where the guys have to actually plan the date. And that's such a good idea. And give them a budget, like you got 150 yes. bucks. Yes. What are you going to do yes. with 150 bucks? Oh, my God. How that's... are you going to make that dollar stretch? To me, that that's a turn on. That is such a great idea. Like, if you know how to stretch a dollar, I'm into you. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm just like that. Because that's life. Yeah, that's and I just life. love saving money. I could be the richest person <laughs> in the world. <laughs> but you if you give save... me a deal, I will be like, yes, let's take it. Oh, my God. And then if your man can make that deal happen, oh, then it's then all I'm over, like, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. No, totally. That's so awesome. Um, so on the last rose ceremony, they let our buddy Chins go, right? Oh, I know. So Chins is gone, which means they're the, what, how many minorities did they start with? Seven, they said, or yeah. something? Yeah. And it's, now they're down to down to none. 
we're and done. And we think she should have left chins in just a little bit more. We wanted like a little taste of chins. I think chins had some things going on that we might have wanted to see. I need to know what Wells is. She likes him for some reason, and we can't figure out why. Yeah. Because we mean, haven't seen, and why does he look so sickly? Yeah, he's, he looked hungover for a minute. Yeah, he had like some like deep bags and stuff. He yeah. wasn't looking too good. We got to know what he is, though, because maybe Wells is holding on with some ethnicity. He oh, maybe. He's a little olive. <laughs> yeah, We're just like what? holding that's, on that's for life. That's spray Anybody. tan, Aaron. That's the spray tan. I know. So how about uh, the other one that like, like got let go that oh. I've been wanting to be gone for? Who are oh, you thinking of? I thought you were going to say John B., the, the barber that sells weed. John B., the John B. Does look-alike. Does he sell weed? No, but you, you just think just he, tell does? he does. He does look you like he would. You he's like cutting, giving you a, a fresh, you know, lineup. And he's <laughs> like, I got some weed, too, if you want. You know? You're so right. But he was so sad. He took it really bad. Oh, my God. He did not want to go back to that barber shop life. Yeah, we actually, as much as we were like laughing, watching, and then when we saw the guys crying, which it was surprising, but it was it was actually we really felt, touching. Yeah, right? it was touching with um, our John B. lookalike. But like you said, the guy that we really wanted to go, Ed, we didn't feel bad for yeah, him. Yeah, Ed, we did not feel bad. We were like, you gotta go. I actually know someone that knows Ed, and there wasn't many good things to say about See, him. Yeah. and he has this false sense of confidence. Like, it's not confidence like he really believed in himself. Yeah. It was confidence like, this is an act, and I got to act like I believe in myself. And right, I'm like right, super right. Cool. Like, it's like fake confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, he was all that tattletale and tell. If he had been more focused on the relationship that he was trying to build, or even focused on figuring his own self out, then yeah. maybe he would have still been there, right? And that's what he said at the end. He's like, I wish I would have used my time wisely sort of tattletaling on people. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think she was really interested. Well, I mean, we don't know, but I, I just didn't think she would be interested in some guy with three kids and, and all no that stuff. And no muscle tone. Three kids, no muscles, and like a swoop a better swoop, than mine. A blown out <laughs> swoop. <laughs> exactly. Three kids, probably no budget. Yeah. Now that, where, what was that one, um, one part, I forget, oh, they were having a cocktail party. And I just have to say that the guys at the cocktail party, the one, they looked so good with those like blue Suited, jackets yeah. and the purple shirts. There is nothing better than a well-dressed man. Yeah, that, that suit was nice, the blue. I think Chins and um, Alex had on the two They blue, had on the blue. The blue suits, guys, go get you a blue suit. Yeah, Royal exa blue, <laughs> exa tailored. Exactly. So, ladies, let us know what you think about a well-dressed man. Does that make a difference to you? And actually, better yet, I want to hear what you think about Aaron's idea. And should they, you know, have to go on this date and for $150 and see what they can do? And what ideas, you know, can you come up with? Uh, let us know uh, on our Facebook page, the, after, the Bachelorette After Show, and uh, use the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag uh, the Bachelorette Bachelor AS. Uh, AS. And uh, you can tweet us right now. We're going to look at some of your tweets, yeah. and then we will be right back. So we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. Oh my God. High five. Boom. They did not to me. We had a crazy vampire threesome. And you can't unsee that. That's just, that's burned into my brain now. I was like, You know why we saying yes. You know why we saying yes. Look at me, I'm dancing. He was like, yeah, I'll tell you whatever you want. He is quite something. And we're like, ooh, inseparable. These hoes ain't look. You just went to a totally different direction on that one. Yeah, I love it. That's genius. Yeah. Okay, we're fun. funny, we're funny. A billionaire goes broke, it means he's got like four million dollars. <laughs> There's gotta be a code on that. This might actually be a thing. Somebody better take some pictures of this. What did I do? What is there? Hey, are we there yet? Can we talk about Dude, this? We've yes, been waiting we all talk. night. I don't know. We talked about this. <laughs> I don't like the break now. <laughs> I can't count anything out. <laughs> 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 it's 
been another awesome night at the stream. It's TV, always guys. awesome. Thank you for joining yes. us, you guys. Yes. We're back and we're still over here talking about we were actually just talking about some of the previews of the next show and I think uh, Aaron you have a tweet that was making us think about that mm -hmm. right okay so this tweet is from at flip tracks and it says if I know anything it's that life and style only prints facts and <laughs> it's a picture of Ben and old girl and it says over already. Just two weeks after the fairy tale proposal, explosive fights leave Sean and Catherine's wedding plans in ruin. Oh, hmm. so we're wondering if maybe Ben is gonna try to barge in on this show, right? Because I mean, she did say at that point. When was it? When when she got the Us Weekly thing. She said, she talked about Ben again at some point because yeah. she said, I really loved him. I felt so cherished. I realized then that I needed better relationships in my life. And yeah. then in the preview, they showed somebody with a ring box. And her crying, saying that she can't, she has to let him go. This is the hardest thing she's yes. ever. Yes. She, she loved him. Right. And she was at the, in, they, in the previews, they show her at the ring ceremony, and then she's walking down the steps in that beautiful dress and leaving the ring ceremony. So I don't know. We'll he have to see what that's her. all about. What else do you see there? Sarah James, 1994. Oh, that preview. JoJo is totally sending Jordan home at the finale, calling it now. I don't think so. S oh, cause sending QB. Because it seemed like, yeah, she was saying, there's something about him. This whole trust theme, I mean, they are creating a theme around yeah, him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But he seems pretty cool, but maybe there's, you know, some dirt that's going to come up that we're not aware of yet. Yeah, I feel like they just have to peg somebody, the troublemaker or the bad boy, so that the ratings can... Yeah, that's... And so the guys have something to fight about. Right. <laughs> something to compete about. Speaking of compete, by the way, what's that guy with the, with the curly hair? I mean, like, he needs to go to the hospital. He got so banged up from that football oh, game or yeah. whatever last time. His like eyes all stitched up and everything. He's like a total wreck. I love that he's still there, like pretending like he's fine. Is he still there? Did he make it? Yeah, he did make yeah, it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he made yeah, it. Yeah, the three guys that went home was Ed, Chins, Chins, and and gosh. the and the barber and John. Yeah, D. yeah. Oh my gosh! And that brings me to the next. The fact that we couldn't remember his name. Oh. The next tweet at James P. Daly. It's hard to say goodbye to Vinny because I legit keep forgetting he's on the show. Oh, God. And we literally were like, wait, who was the third guy that went home? That is so true. Yes. Poor but you guy. know, they had a bunch of guys on this show so far that, I, that most of them are gone that you literally, you could not remember. I mean, at least with the, you know, like the, the original seven minority team, yeah. they were all, you could all, you could remember them somehow. Even like, remember like Furball with the hair, yeah, yeah. you know, you had our, uh -huh. our guy Christian, who was just like, just the sweet guy yeah. with the tattoos. You could remember them, and, but then you were left with all these like vanilla white guys mm -hmm. that literally, they all looked the same. There was no identifying feature yeah. well, to tell even, them apart. Even the few guys that are there now, like Jordan, there's another guy that looks exactly like Jordan. Yes, they have like the same hair. Yeah. I don't even know who that guy is. His hair is just frizzier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jordan will never release his secrets to him ever on how to get the perfect blowout. By the way, what was up with the uh, Marine guy during his little talking segments and he had his hair like all weird with yeah, the beard. Yeah, he had a swoop. <laughs> he did. He was looking a little crazy. Yeah, so those are our tweets. All right. Well, great. So thank you guys for joining us. We had a great time and hope that you'll join us again next week. Subscribe at thestream.tv and please do tweet us at hashtag bachelorette, the bachelorette AS, and yeah. we'll read your tweets uh, next time. Thanks so much and have a great night. Bye, <laughs> Bye everybody. That was good. <laughs>